When a team makes it this far, they're up against some pretty stiff competition. Dick, let's see how they'll fare in this final four matchup between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Gauchos are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. Number one, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second, make sure you get a hand up on every outside shot. Get a hand in their face. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Up and inside. He strokes it. That was nice. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to pack it inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. And he missed. Inside. Defensively try to stay with his man. And he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside. And they attack him aggressively. He'll regroup the offense. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Inside. The skip pass is picked off. The point guard receives the ball. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Fed the lobe and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Nice shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. You betcha. The point guard receives the pass. Gave it up. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. Blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Up fake. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Stolen away. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Right to the defender. Shows patience waiting for the reset. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. And has it rejected. Defense to the He rejects it. The ball goes out of play. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Gave it up. He up fakes. From the top of the key. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes a nice shot fake. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. 
Number 50 makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Gave it up. Number 42 handles the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Number 22 is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating to the spot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Picked off. Number one handles the feed. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Tries for two. It's good. And now they'll bring it up. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up on the inside. Looking for the foul. Number one makes the lay-in. On the outside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Feed the low post. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Picks off the pass. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. On the outside, picks off the lazy pass. Shoots from outside. Makes the shot. He's open if he wants the shot for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Steals the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He shoots from long range. Gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really at. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Look at that spacing. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. You're doing a great job. I'll tell you, you're doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Intercepted. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside. Go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. She's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Sinks it. There they come with a double team to stop it. He intercepts it. For two. Great shot.
Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Gets it back out. Let's it fly. North Carolina have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Set that screen away. Jumps into the defender. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Here's a double team. I tell didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They work the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the ball goes out of bounds. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Ten seconds to put it up. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. And the ball goes out of play. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Now they work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Steals a pass. Now the high screen. He puts up the three ball, sinks it. There's the trap. Way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. In and out. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Off the rim and no good. And 
Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Number 14 with the fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He throws it up from downtown. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Takes away the pass. Now coming down with numbers. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. For the bucket. And in and out. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Tries for two. North Carolina are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Bakes the shot. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shot clock is dead. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Doesn't go. Hey, Brad, this youngster is showing how to put the clamp on a player defensively. Spectacular defensive effort. At halftime, the Tar Heels are ahead by two. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game, Dick. What's your highlight of the first half? Well, the trifecta, like we see here, was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. You see Santa Barbara turn the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just weren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and playing silly, if you ask me. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Erin. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. See, that's what I like, a good rebound. Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on Sports Center, but it helps your team win. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He puts it up. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. From 
right of the circle. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Jumped in front to take it away. They're off into transition. There's a high screen. Prohop draws the foul. Nice move. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. He makes the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes the jumper. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside, the point guard gets the ball. Off the rim and no good. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Shot rejected. Jumped in front to take it away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. And he'll kick it back outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The small forward with the ball. Great defense. Working it around the perimeter. Guns up the deep one. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. And work it into a double team on the post. He puts it in with contact and all. Turnover City, though, always really the gate. And he often contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. I tell you, three quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Coming inside. The center gets the pass. He rejects it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Basin. In the paint for the deuce. UC Santa Barbara is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The power forward takes the pass. There it is, Jam City. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Defensively, 
This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. The defense traps him into a five-second call. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Sideline inbounds. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The Tar Heel composure is falling even as we speak, Dick. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little burst of off in shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Pump fakes. Gave it up. He fires from long range. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. The center takes the feed. Goes up for two. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's the screen up on top. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Goes up for two. Picked off. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Working around the arc. He's got some room. He throws up the shot. He doesn't get the hoop. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Basket falls despite the contact. Number five picks up the foul. Second personal foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Kicks it out. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> and 
entry pass. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The Tar Heels, according to the ESPN polls, are among the top teams in the country. I'm certain that their opponents will be all over them in this game. Hey, at the top, you are the hunter, not the huntee. This means that you must bring your A game every day. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, he's going to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. They're dialing trees up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. by the D. I love it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They scored eight in a row. Dump it inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He lets it go. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. He unloads a three. He gets that one to fall. to go the other way. He puts up the tray. Tickles the twine. They scored 11 in a row. down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. From beyond the arc, 
Oh, yes! Picks off the lazy pass. Team now, that angle. He takes the three, and he can't hit the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job with the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork, it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Time to pick up the defense here now. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Number 21 is charged with the foul. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. Here's a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Shoots from the elbow. Rims out. The Gauchos are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Pushing that basketball. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. In the paint for the bucket. The lane. They'll probably be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, great footwork too to create that opportunity, and then he's got to touch what an offensive play. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Shoots. Rims out. For two. Rejected out of there. It's a fast break possibility. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. score. Way out on top. Control of the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. He drains it. I need to see that again, Brad. The 
work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 42 is called for the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. He hits his first. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second shot is no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. On the dribble. Gives it up. Picks off the pass. We got a timeout on the floor. And with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I wouldn't mind seeing them change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. paint sets the screen for his teammate goes for the steal down low and he didn't get it I tell you, took a chance and he lost baby let's go to the instant replay camera the lead is down to a bucket hey this place is about to explode it's dynamite baby Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my P.T. Peer? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Let's see what they set up, Dick. There's the trap. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Dump it inside. For the bucket. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. High post screen. So effective that screen. 
lets it fly. Rims out. Dick, we're overtime bound. I knew this one was going to be one of the great ones, Mr. Nestler. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. NCAA tournament, and we're in overtime. Two evenly matched teams. They played well throughout. Extra session coming up, Richard. You can't ask for more than this. I tell you, Brad, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs is going to walk out of here with an L? Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumped in front to take it away. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They let him get into a rhythm. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. The Tar Heels have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. It's stolen for the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The ball handler might be in trouble here. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. North Carolina have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. He goes with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Nice drop step. I tell you, does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Great defense. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gets it to fall. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense... Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. He throws it up from downtown. He hits it. Tries for two. 
two with a land. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? They move it into the front court. He strips him clean. Oh, big-time screen set on the defender. Takes away the pass. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looks for a three-pointer. Shot clock is dead. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And yet another foul. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Buries it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Good. They need a basket here to turn this into a two possession game. Dick, six point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Foul them early and give your team a chance. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. coming Brad three points is the difference that's right so somebody better guard the York gave it up he launches the bomb rims out well Dick sometimes statistics lie but in this tournament game I don't think they do the better team won and they're going on well I'll tell you won this game Brad when you look at it analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. North Carolina started this tournament with one goal, make it to the finals. Hey, don't be fooled, Brad. This team will be satisfied with just being a runner-up and getting to the big show. They have one game to win, and they'll be crowned NCAA champions. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.